Hello all. In this video, we will see how to recover a DWIN touch display when it has gone black. Sometimes this DWIN display goes black because of some wrong configuration files fused. For recovering this uh, display, you need this hardware, PGT05 burner hardware, which is a JTAG recorder. On this recorder, there is a start switch and some three LEDs and a microcontroller. SD card socket is there and a USB socket. It, this is 7 pin version which is T5L burner. There is also 6 pin version T5. Uh, check out the version which matches you. Matches your display. On the bottom side of the T5L uh, uh, engine, you can see 7 holes. So this burner should match that hole. That uh, one of the hole is square. So plus 5 pin of PGT05 should match that hole. We'll see how to do this. We require one uh, uh, SD card, SD card of uh, 8 GB or 16 GB, maximum 16 GB is supported. First you have to format the uh, SD card using a card reader, format it and uh, do the settings. Uh, that is the file system should be FAT32 and uh, 4096 is the allocation unit size. This is very important. Format that uh, SD card open the SD card folder and you have got these two bin files that is the erase kernel bin file and a base, base kernel bin file the link is given in the description below you can download it first copy and paste first before that uh, prepare a folder named dbin underscore set always this uh, dbin displays will understand the folder dbin underscore set so create a folder dbin underscore set and copy and paste the erase bin file first and then rename it to t5uic1v10.bin this is very important both these files should be named as the same so remember to rename this to this and then remove the SD card plug the SD card onto the PGT05 burner mm -hmm. and use the USB cable to uh, power it up plug in the USB cable to your PC and other end to the PGT05 burner do not press this uh, start button only just power up the PGT05 using the USB cable and wait for the red LED to come up this red LED indicates the PRG is on and uh, programming is done that is the erase kernel file is transferred to the PGT05 now remove the SD card and uh, you have to provide the power to the DWIN display 5 volt on ground. Now just press the plug on the PGT05 onto the 7 pin socket. Ensure that the first pin is square pin square hole and uh, it should match the plus 5 pin of the PGT05. Just plug in and then press the start button. On long pressing the start button the red LED will come up which indicates that the kernel has been erased on the uh, DWIN display. Now the next step again uh, put the SD card into the SD card uh, uh, reader and then uh, delete this uh, previous bin file. Delete that bin file. Now copy the uh, next kernel file. That is the base kernel file. Copy and paste it onto the uh, dwin underscore set folder and rename it again to the same name. That is t5uic1v10.bin. The name should be same as that of the erase bin file. So rename, rename it and then remove the SD card. Plug the SD card onto the PGT05 burner and provide the power to the burner using the USB cable. This uh, male to male USB cable. Provide the power to the PGT05. Do not press the start button in this process. Wait for the red LED to come up. Now the kernel file has been transferred to PGT05. Remove the USB cable, remove the SD card and then plug the PGT05 onto the DWIN display. 
ensure that power is on for the display now press the start button long press the start button you will see the red light indicating that the kernel file has been transferred now finally uh, remove the SD card and plug it down to your PC copy your actual project file folder as you do for the regular project copy the dvin underscore set of your project folder and paste it onto this SD card note that uh, there should not be any CFG files do not create any CFG file just copy and paste the dvin underscore set folder of your project onto the SD card and uh, as per a regular procedure plug on this uh, SD card onto the uh, dvin display while plugging on the SD card ensure that power is off to the display with uh, power on do not plug the SD card remove the uh, power plug on the SD card and then power up now you can see the regular uh, blue screen indicating the SD card process thank you for watching